Mic check, test one, two. Hey everybody, this is a response video to Mr. Justin Hawkins. I am sorry, my brother, for taking so long to get this response video going. But I have so many videos that I'm so behind on. So there are a lot of others that I know I need to catch up on and eventually I will. That's just the same way as I got so many emails that I end up getting to. And when I end up responding to them, some people will respond back, man, you know how long ago that was? You are so late. I'm like, well, at least I'm taking the effort to respond. So Mr. Justin question was, why do some customers make you know, us truck drivers slide the tandems uh, all the way to the back when they're loading and unloading. So the answer to that is because, let me see if I can get my little fake toy truck and I can kind of give y'all an illustration of what I'm talking about. So you have like, let's just pretend that this is the trailer if you are a truck driver, whether you're a rookie or senior or whatever, let's just pretend that this is a model of a typical straight frame trailer. Now, like these wheels are considered axles and the axles are attached to what is called tandems. And tandems, I mean, it looks a lot different in real life, but the tandems, let's just say this whole square piece in here those are the tandems. So usually they have push button um, release or they have a pull handle. Yes, either push button or pull handle. So when you pull the handle or push the button, it's pins that's in there to where the pins will go in and it'll make it so that these, both of these axles will either go forward or they'll go backwards. But in this case, when he say customer, he means shippers and receivers. Shippers are people that ship out product. Let's just say I do chips. So the place that manufactures chips, they ship the product out. Receivers is just what the word is. If they receive what this truck driver is bringing in to unload to you. So when he, what he's asking is, I think he meant to say, why do the uh, customers make you slide the tandem back? Cause to slide it forward, that would mean you putting your tandem all the way to the front of the trailer. And there's actually a science behind that because when you slide your tandems forward or backward, that actually changes the dynamics and scientific of the weight that is placed on now the front of your truck, which will usually be attached in the back. Like each wheel, well, this will be considered one unit when you weigh it on a scale, but each set of axles have a certain weight that it's supposed to be and you have your drives that's on your tractor, which is your truck. And then you have your axles, your trailer axles, and then you have your front drives. And each of those are allotted, I mean allowed to be a certain amount of weight before you in violation and you can get in trouble for being overweight. So your front drives, like the front drive, let me show y'all. So this is your second set of axles. This is your second set of drives. And this is your first set of drives. So when you go on a cat scale, even a scale with some shippers have, like some shippers really ship heavy stuff like beer loads. Beer loads are always heavy. So they know that and they put a scale on the property. But when they print out the, the receipt, what it will look like, it's gonna have it broken down in three categories. Three categories gonna be your front drives, your second drives, and your trailer axles. And your front drive's supposed to be 12,000 and below. And your second drive's supposed to be 34,000 and below. And then your trailer, your trailer axles, which is this, supposed to be 34,000 and below. Now some states, because every state that you ride through have their own different laws, DOT offices, follow different guidelines to what they can kind of allow or not allow. But some states in certain circumstances will allot you a couple hundred, not thousand, a couple hundred pounds over the allotted amount. So let's just say this is supposed to be 34,000 on each set of axles. You might can get away with it being like 34,500 pounds. In some states, and you have to look the research up for yourself, 
Some states will allow you a thousand pounds over. And it just depends on the officer. Because you know, every officer might be having a good day, a bad day. Everything always depends on who you get. So let's get back to the question. So he was saying, his, his exact words was, why do you have to slide these wheels forward? But really, I mean, he meant backwards. Because a lot of times when you go to these receivers and they tell you here, we giving you dock door 50 back into to door 50. So, but before you back in the door, slide the tandems back. So he, he mean that these two sets of wheels will actually, like once you push the button or pull that rod and that depends in, you get in your truck and you're gonna put your truck in drive. Once you put your truck in drive, these wheels are gonna go all the way to the back. And if you wanted to make it go forward, you would put your truck in reverse and back up and that would put your wheels forward in this case because most likely most of these receivers want to make you slide them back so you're going to put your truck in drive and you're going to slide your wheels your axles all the way to the back now the purpose the purpose for sliding tan is back at these places because like this is the trailer right and they have something what's called a dock plate and it's like a plate and what it does is like the plate sits up like this sometimes inside the warehouse. So whoever the, the lumper is, whoever is uh, responsible for taking stuff off or putting stuff on, they have to put that dock plate down onto the back of your trailer. So they'll push a button and the little thing, it'll start going up and then it'll fall down and then it'll hit, it'll hit the floor of the trailer. So that dock plate is what the forklift driver is driving on and off to either take product off or to put product on. So each time that this forklift driver is going on and off of that trailer, the trailer is it dipped down. So if the weight of that forklift and the person on it is enough weight to where it's making the back of this trailer dip down, it makes sense to have something that is bracing the trailer so it won't dip down as bad. Cause let's just say that the wheels were all the way forward. And then when that, that forklift driver or lumper guy is going on, that trailer can dip further down than it need to be because there's nothing underneath that's catching, you know, the dip. But because they asked you to slide your axles back to the back, now you actually have your wheels sitting underneath the trailer. So when that lumper or that forklift guy is going off, the trailer is hitting the tires so where it's not dipping down as bad. So let's just say you didn't slide the tandems or you sit and they was far up forward. That trailer probably, let's say it would probably dip this low, but if it was slid back correctly and it, it was where it needed to be, it won't dip at all, it'd be braced. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much in a nutshell why uh, receivers ask you to slide the tandems back because you know, it's not really safe for the lumpers and the well, lumper and forklift are the same thing because a lumper has to use a forklift to get the product on and off. So that's why they ask you for safety reasons. I hope that answers your question, Justin Hawkins, and everything that you do. And sorry for the late response. Like I said, I have a whole lot of late response videos that I need to catch up on. And we're doing a book bag giveaway, me and my business partner. I just made that video and I'm most likely I'll probably end up posting that in a few. So I hope this explained it. I tried to explain it as elementary as I could. I get it. Put a thumbs up, you know, a little emoji thumbs up. I'm like, yeah, girl, I get that. So, okay, guys, time is the essence. Let's make better time of it. Let's love each other and not judge each other because I never judge you, honey. And I love you, honey. So, deuces. I'm doing my nails too right after I get off here. So, deuces, honey.